All right, chip of the day from June of 1999 from Lucent Technology from Bell Labs before Carly Fiorina killed it. <laughs> anyway, um, this is an LG 16258XF laser driver. And no, not in the, none of the silicon stuff. This thing is, is a gallium arsenide. Yeah, which means it's zoomy. Zoom, zoom, zoom. So uh, we've got some interesting things in here. Um, it modulates the laser, uh, non-return to zero transmission system, uh, 0.9 micron gate, Hatcher Junction FET technology. Um, it also has some interesting things on it. It's got MIM capacitors, air bridge connected, and nickel chromium film precision resistors all on the die. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty wild stuff. And none of this plus five volt stuff. No, no, no. It needs minus 5.2 volts to operate. It's upside down. Uh, must've come from, uh, down under. So anyway, 90 picosecond rise time. It is a screamer with the gallium arsenide. So yeah, it's like a one, one gigahertz, two gigahertz type transmission thing. Zoom down here. So here's, here's what it would look like. 50 ohm input for driving the thing. And then uh, some type of current output, so voltage in, current out, and uh, some type of differential, differential chain of uh, amplifiers. Um, yeah, pretty cool little part. Uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to hook this thing up, but I thought it'd at least be fun to take a look at it. All right. Anyway, here's a data sheet. Here's an eye diagram. So. 100 picosecond per division uh, eye diagram. Yeah, so it's fast, right? And nice and clean. Looks pretty good. Uh, here's a typical example. Lots of bypassing. Uh, each stage of the amplifier has its own voltage VCC pin, and you get to filter it, so each stage has doesn't crosstalk as much. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at the part. All right, here is the part. It's in this funny little uh, flat pack uh, with gold wings. Gold, of course. Looks pretty nice. Um, I did find one picture here of it being used in an application. You can see it uh, down there in the lower left, and then it's driving that laser module uh, to its right. Um, so, yeah, Lucent Technologies. All right, so pop the uh, pop the lid off, and uh, you can see the uh, die the die sitting in there. We need to go in and take a closer look at this thing. And uh, looks looks fairly interesting. It's got a lot of pins, that's for sure. But like I said, most of them are are, are power and ground for decoupling. And a little bit closer. And here's an interesting one. You can kind of see those capacitors and nickel chromium resistors and stuff. They're kind of different colors on top of that funny color gallium. Um, the gallium arsenide is a little bit purple colored, it seems. All right. Uh, getting on a little closer here, we can start to see some of the structure. Looks like there's a different part number on here. MX32, is that 7.9? So those are uh, dark field microscope pictures. And then here's some bright field microscope pictures. Two one. Don't know what two is. All right, and I'll just leave the video with uh, a little movie here, kind of going around the die, and you can sort of see different parts of the die. And uh, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how to hook it up, or I have don't have any use for it and stuff. But I thought it was uh, just an interesting part to take a look at.